Hey everyone, welcome to the Lace-Up Tutorial Series. Today I'm going to show you how to track lot numbers from the point of sale using our mobile invoicing application all the way back to QuickBooks. That way, in the event of a recall, you can run a report showing where you sold each lot. To begin, you're going to enter your lot numbers using our mobile app located here. The very first step for your driver is going to be to select a customer. Secondly, the driver would clock into that customer. Next, you want to select Sales Invoice. On that Sales Invoice, you're going to get an order template of what you usually sell to that customer. In this case, I'm going to add five of these. And I'm going to go to all my products and add five of these. Now, as I'm unloading merchandise off the truck, I look at the product and I'm able to then add the lot numbers into the order. To add lot numbers, I simply tap on the item, I go to the lot field, and I enter the lot number. So in this case, I've added a lot number to the Ioti and the Cappuccino. If you look, the lot number here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The following step is to finalize the sales invoice and print it out of your mobile Zebra printer. First and foremost, you want to collect the signature. Then you want to collect the payment. And lastly, you want to print the group of invoices. When you're done, you can tap done, at which point the invoice will read finalized. Lastly, you want to clock out. Once the driver returns at the end of his route, he's then going to take these invoices, transmit them to the back office so they can be exported to QuickBooks. To transmit to the back office, you tap Menu, End of Day Close, at which point you're going to do a series of steps for inventory that we'll cover in another tutorial. To export everything from the handheld to your back office, the driver will tap end of day. The invoices have now traveled from the handheld to the back office. To view the, ex the invoices that were sent, you go to export orders. Here's the invoice in particular. What we want to do now is export this invoice from LaceUp to QuickBooks. To do so, we're going to click Export Documents. There's the invoice. Now in QuickBooks, I'm going to show you how to search for this particular invoice. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to search for the lot number for the products that we added. So in QuickBooks, if you go to our item list, you're going to see that we've created a custom field called lot. To get this lot field to show up, you want to add it to the invoice template. So first and foremost, create the custom field called lot. Secondly, add that lot field to the invoice template. You do that by going to Create Invoices, Customize Data Layout, Columns. Here's the custom field that we've created, and we're going to add it. And we're going to call it Lot. If you look, the Lot field has been added. 
This is going to let LaceUp export the lot value from each item into QuickBooks. Now let's go look for that lot number that we've exported. To find the lot number, you're just going to go to Reports, Sales, Sales by Item Detail. We're just going to customize the report and we're going to filter the report by lot number. And the lot number that we're looking for is one, two, three, four, five. If you look, there's our invoice created today with the IOT item with the lot number one, two, three, four, five. Here's the invoice template we're looking for. If you look on this template, you'll find the item code, the description, and the lot number. These are the lot numbers that we dropped off at cool customer number two. So that's an easy way to track lot numbers from the point of sale on our mobile invoicing application all the way back to QuickBooks. You simply run a sales report, filter by lot number, and QuickBooks will automatically pull out a list of all of the invoicings containing that lot number. So I'd like to thank you for watching the latest in the LaceUp tutorial series. Please subscribe to our channel for more content. Also, visit our website at www.laceupsolutions.com for more information. We'll see you next time.